A big corona hole has rotated into the Earth strike zone and it's sending us some fast wind now. And you remember that nasty active region that gave us so much trouble for the emergency responders during Irma and Harvey? Well, that has re survived its backside passage and is it back in Earth view now. Will it still be an X flare player? Those stories and more in the news this week. Solar activity has been pretty quiet the past couple weeks. The biggest thing we have to contend with is this huge corona hole that has now rotated into the Earth strike zone. It's been sending us some fast wind over the past few hours and it has bumped us up to storm levels. So we're going to have to contend with this probably for the next 24 to 48 hours until it rotates out of the Earth strike zone. Now the other thing is we've got region 2673. It has survived its backside passage and here it's back into Earth view. It's been relabeled 2680 and it looks finally like it's exhausted. It fired a few solar storms on the back side of the sun and that pretty much tuckered this little guy out. So luckily for you emergency responders to the hurricanes and the Mexico quake, it looks like you guys are getting a reprieve from this active region. It's no longer an X-flare player and things should stay for the moment pretty quiet. Switching to your M-flare threat meter, you can see that X-ray flux really began to take a dive once region 2673 went around the sun's backside around September 12th. Since then, things have been extremely quiet, pretty much flatlined, until about the 20th when that region plus another couple regions started showing up back on Earth's side again. And so the solar flux has gone up and uh, we're not seeing any strong flares and it looks like it's going to stay that way. But you amateur radio operators should enjoy a little boost in propagation uh, simply because the X-ray flux and the, actually the solar flux has risen just a little bit. Switching to your solar storm conditions, you can see the last time we actually had a decent solar storm was back in the middle of September. Since then, things have kind of hovered around unsettled conditions to even quiet conditions, and it's been like that for a while now. But then now the fast wind has hit us. You can see we're at storm levels now. We are getting aurora right now. It's been all over Canada. I'm getting field reporters uh, contacting me and showing us beautiful pictures. It's even reached down into Washington, so even the upper tier of the United States is seeing it. And this should continue easily over the next day or two until we get out of this fast wind that's causing this storm. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are being hit by that fast wind now and NOAA is expecting at high latitudes to have minor storm conditions with about an 80% chance of a major storm uh, starting around the 28th. At mid latitudes, we're only expecting minor storm conditions with about a 10% chance of a major storm uh, on the 28th. But this should probably quiet down and move more into active conditions as we begin to move through the week and by the time we get to the beginning of October, things should settle down quite a bit. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, region 2673, which was a huge X-flare player just a couple weeks ago, it has returned. It's been renumbered region 2682, and because it's in Earth view, we worried a little bit about whether or not it could actually still be a source of big flares. Right now, NOAA is giving us about a 10% chance of an M-flare happening here in the next few days, and it's also connected with region 2683, and because because of that, it's nice. It's actually raised the uh, solar flux just a little bit back into the green a little bit, folks, which is wonderful for you amateur radio operators who need that prop extra boost in propagation right now. So enjoy this week. It doesn't look like there's any threat for radio blackouts, not at least really big ones at any rate, but hopefully this will continue easily through the next week. So the space weather this week is a little bit on the active side. We're in the middle of some fast wind right now, which is bringing us some gorgeous aurora down even to uh, the upper tier of the United States. So your aurora photographers, get as many shots in as you can over the next few days before things begin to quiet down. Now, as far as solar flares and radio blackouts are concerned, it looks like we have a pretty low risk for those right now, even though region 2673 is back in Earth view. It's finally tuckered itself out, so it does doesn't look like you emergency responders are going to have nearly the trouble that you had last time around, especially as you're trying to deal with the aftermath of the hurricanes and the quakes. So enjoy that. Enjoy good propagation on the day side. Uh, we should have that. those conditions continue probably for the next couple weeks. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.